Hi guys, today's video is about recognizing the signs and symptoms of appendicitis. How important it is to get to the hospital and seek medical attention right away. First of all, what you need to look for is lower right abdominal pain. Sometimes it can be sudden pain that starts in the, the navel area and shoots down to the lower right abdominal side. It could be pain that worsens with coughing, walking, moving. You might experience some nausea and vomiting. You might have loss of appetite, you might have a low grade fever, you might experience some constipation or diarrhea. You might have some abdominal bloating or gas. And the problem is sometimes you might experience all those things without the pain and just write it off as being, well, that's normal for me. It's the pain that you need to stay in tune to. And don't ignore these symptoms, unlike I did, with a story I'll explain to you. So leading up to my story, sometimes at night I would experience some severe shooting abdominal jarring pain that started when I would try to flip over at night, it would hurt to do that. And so I would kind of lift my body up to flip over because I flip a lot at night. And in the morning time, I would forget all about it. So this was happening for oh, quite a few weeks and not every night. Sometimes I would sleep through it, but sometimes I think I started having signs and symptoms of appendicitis in the middle of the night, but never during the day. So at night, I would remember it, oh, and think I need to get that checked out in the morning, but in the morning I would forget. Well, back in 2018, in July, my daughter was competing for her bodybuilding IFBB pro card in the bikini class in Las Vegas. We were all excited for her. She tried it the year before, did make her pro card. This was her second attempt. We were all very excited. So we flew out there, I flew with my mom, her brother, my daughter was there, her dad flew out and it was a big deal. And so I was completely focused on my daughter. The first night we got there in the middle of the night, I experienced excruciating pain. I was just woke up in the middle of the night and oh, I had to turn over and I was doing the cradle rock like a baby waiting for that pain to go away. It took maybe about five minutes to, and then it kind of started feeling a little better. So I got up, I took some pain medication, went back to bed, and then the next morning I told everybody what had happened. Well, my mom, she carried steroids around with her for occasional pain that she had a lot with her back. So she offered me some steroids and of course I took some steroids to help with my pain. So between the steroids, which I don't recommend this to anybody, please, please, please don't do what Pam did. Go seek medical attention right away. But I did it. I was focused on getting my daughter in her competition, her, her tan, her lashes, her makeup, her, her hair, um, all of, there's a lot of things you have to do for these competitions and you have to do it in a very timely manner. And so in this, heat in Vegas in July. I had rented a car and I was working on getting her there, but the whole time I was walking like this. So I'm focused on this exciting event. I'm at the last thing I want to do is figure that out. And I didn't think it had anything to do with my appendix because for 20 years as a surgery tech, I've seen appendicitis many multiple times and I did not have all the symptoms. I didn't have a low grade fever. All I really had was lower right abdominal pain. And no, I didn't really feel like eating or anything like that, but didn't even think anything about that. Focused on everything. So fast forward through this whole time, People are asking me, what do you think it is, Pam? I'm like, I don't know. It just hurts to lift my leg. So I didn't lift my leg. Walked around like this for a few days and we were out there for five days. So I thought I'm gonna, I'm gonna go seek medical attention when I get back home. So the night of the big competition came and my daughter, Sierra, not only won first in her height class for bikini bodybuilding, 
she won the entire thing for all of the bikini classes. She was number one and it was the most exciting thing in my entire life. So forget about the pain. We went out and celebrated that night. And because of that, the following day on Sunday, she had to go do a photo shoot and all this great stuff, which we didn't have tickets to come back home until Monday, day number five. So when we got back home, I decided I'd go check it out. Told the emergency room people that I don't know what it is. These are my signs and symptoms. It could be an angry appendix. It could be an angry ovary because I still had those. I don't really know. Long story, I had a ruptured appendix. So that first night when I was in Vegas, healed over in pain, my appendix was actually rupturing. I don't know why I was in so much shock to hear this in the emergency room five days later, but I was. I looked at my husband when I heard that and I thought to myself, am I gonna die now? So I was lucky in though that I got to have, um, they, was, they were able to take out my appendix laparoscopically and there was not a lot of internal damage. I didn't have to have things resected. This happens sometimes when you walk around with a ruptured appendix. Death happens sometimes with a ruptured appendix. It's a very serious situation. You never, never, never should do what I did. So I got very lucky. I don't know if it was my mom's steroids that helped keep things at bay. I don't know what it was. I don't know if it was God looking out for me. I don't know. I'm just very blessed. And and the important thing too is if your appendix does rupture and they take it out, you need to stay in the hospital as an inpatient for a few days on antibiotics to get rid of that bacteria or you could get sepsis and still die. Just always be in tune to your body. Blood checked in an emergency room and you have lower abdominal pain will usually show up as a high white blood cell count because your body's trying to fight off that infection. That's one of the first things that they look for. They told me that the cause of my appendicitis was what's called a fecal lift. That is a, when your feces turns into a stone. It can be, you can have kidney stones, you can have gallbladder stones. I didn't know you could also, also get fecal stones and that can account for a good percentage of appendicitis. It kind of just can get hung up in your appendix and block things and cause the irritation and cause appendicitis. And then when it just finally builds up in there, it ruptures and explodes into your abdominal cavity. That's when it's really bad. Are there ways to prevent this? I think the best thing that you could do is try to keep your digestive system in good working order. And the magical thing I have found, because I've always been a constipated person, not just drinking a lot of water and eating your fiber, but taking magnesium on a daily basis is huge, is a huge help for me. Most people are deficient in magnesium anyway, but that has been the key. So I still need to drink more water and I still need to eat more fiber, but the magnesium is what is the easiest thing for me to maintain a healthy digestive system. So I hope this video has helped you. I will see you later. Bye guys.